What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Sneakerhead213. Instead of your regular intro, I'm just going to skip right on to the review just to save time and it gets boring. But out of the whole entry, just remember to subscribe. <laughs> so anyways, today we have an unboxing from this newly released A6 Tiger model shoe. So as you can tell from this box right here, A6 Tiger on here. I always like their font style. That font style is, might not be as unique to you guys, but I like the font style. It's better than just boring Jordan font and Adidas font. This one's a little bit di different and I like different and unique. And today we're actually doing the review guys on the A6 Gel Light 5 model. This is not everyone's favorite model. It's one of the most slept on models. But this is the A6 5, um, Gel Light 5, sorry, times uh, monkey time times highs and lows. Um, and the official colorway is gray slash black, U.S. size nine and a half. This is how your tag should look if you got your pair from the States. This released a little bit early on a sneaker boutique, but overseas there was a, um, the, the first release was overseas on these, and they're quite hype overseas. A6 uh, brand is pretty big out there, and so, uh, yeah, these are very sought after. I got these for under retail, um, thanks to a, uh, Instagram post. And uh, so yeah, anyways, I caught these from the website called Wanus. You see the QC tags all there. All oh, there's, and then one of the employees signed it there. Basic Tiger branding paper there. And then we come with some extra laces here, flat laces. And uh, here is the first shoe guys, the A6 Tiger Gel Light 5. Very, very nice shoe, times highs and lows, times monkey time. And I'll let you guys know who monkey time is here shortly and what highs and lows is. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys aren't familiar with them. This is why I love ASICs because they do collaborations with almost anyone, any company. They're just very open-minded and just kind of like, to me, see the future of shoe brands. Um, so anyways, this is a collaboration between ASICs Tiger, obviously as I repeated, and uh highs and lows and monkey time so monkey time guys is a pretty much a japanese uh clothing store um that it kind of has turned itself into a brand kind of like kith it's not as big as kith but it's you know that's what it's kind of turning towards um so check them out um and then also highs and lows is actually a australian sneaker store so check that out um if you guys are more interested in hearing about them. But that's a collaboration that they did amongst those three um, components. So um, one of the first thing, guys, that you guys will notice on this collaboration is probably the black and white. All of this is black and white. The entire upper of the shoe is black and white. The inside is black and white checkered pattern. And then also the outsole is... But first of all, let's talk about why there is checkerboard and black and white detailing on all throughout this shoe. Even the laces have like a checkerboard type patterning to them. So the reason they did this is because back in the days in Japan, and guys that are, that are fans of A6, you guys get butthurt so bad if I mispronounce a name. So I apologize in advance and I, if I mispronounce a name or, you know, miss screw where the country's from so just in advance all right you guys act like people don't make mistakes i'm just reporting the news i don't make it all right i report what's what i read online so anyways um this is sort of a way to commemorate the all-time um motif and kind of like you know culture of the ichimatsu i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing that right but i think it is and Ichimatsu is basically a black and white checkerboard patterning that became popular because of a late actor uh, by the name of Sando, Sanawaka uh, Ichimatsu. That was his whole name, Sanawaka Ichimatsu, Sanawaka Ichimatsu, I believe. And uh, he wore these black and white checkered uh, trousers throughout his films and they became popular and became sort of its own culture and it took off. Um, and I believe... Reports said online that even the Japanese flag had sort of like a checkered, uh, black and white checkerboard pattern during the 2018 Olympics. Let me know if that's true. I don't know if that's true. I don't keep up with the Olympics. <laughs> um, so let me know if that's true. And if it's not, do not bash me over it because I just report the news. I don't make it, all right? 
So anyways, um, one of the most popular things is obviously that checkerboard patterning. So it's become popular, it's become its own culture. The Agnes guys are metal on these, they're a glossy black metal tips which is very nice. I like that a lot. The shoelaces I always love about Asics and you know runner style shoes like New Balance and uh, the Adora and Saucony. They always have these nice round um, laces that very really add a good value to and they last for quite a while. So I like that checkerboard patterning. It looks really nice that black and white. You guys know I'm a fan of black and white shoes. We see the Asics tongue here and nylon material. Asics there and stitched in black. All black nylon tongue. The inner liner is also black nylon material. It's very nice and cushiony. Very nice support. And then we see the, let me show you guys the insole. Show you guys one insole. Oh, well, I can't get it out, so I'll just show it to you guys like this. That's the the insole right there. It's A6 in silver, and then it has that uh, Ichimatsu style patterning there. Um, blue insole on the bottom. There's what the, yeah. So anyways, um, yeah, very nice. The outsole, guys, is one of my favorite things. The outsole looks really, really clean. Has that semi-translucent outsole, the white branding there with A6. And then on the heel, you see some of that Ichimatsu checkerboard patterning in black and white. And the same up here around the toes. So that's really nice. It's very unique. It's its own style. Um, the midsole guys, we see the midsole is all white and then a little bit of hints of black there with A6 branding. The midsole is very nice. I like that gel light style, um, midsole. It's very, it's almost like foam. It, you know, it absorbs the, as you push down on it. So that's really cool. Um, on the back, some more of that white and then some more black here. Very nice. Um, what else? Here's the tag that it comes with all this yada 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 um the toe box guys the toe box has these small perforations there which is very nice they're not very big uh perforations but they're small they're just there for detail and it has a short nice new buck here which is very nice very different use of style uh, or materials i like that and then we see suede here very short suede here same thing on this side very very nice and then just perforations here around the toe box overlay then as we move up towards the upper of the shoe some more we see some of this short black suede very very nice this suede guys you got to be careful with um if you get it wet it'll turn almost like a greenish darkish tint and it really sucks and some of it will smear some of the color will smear towards the lighter colors like this for example it would probably smear so be careful when you guys wear these out in the rain i don't recommend them unless you're using creptech um, or some something of equivalence um and then you see some more of those perforations there this is actually one of the first times they use netting on the gel light 5 according to what i read online if i'm wrong don't get butthurt over it again i just report the news i don't make it um so do you see the, some of that netting there and then you see some of that black in the background. Some of that, I believe that's new book on the back in black. I'm not sure though. And then you see the A6 uh, Tigers, uh, you know, arches there. And then you see those perforations there and a little bit of that black stitching to give that contrast. Some more of those perforations there. And then we're hit with some more of that suede back here. A6 here. And then some more black suede around this um, you know heel cup um and i don't know if you can see it or catch it but it has perforations and that is actually hints of 3m within those perforations so that's really dope that's a little small hint of detail that a lot of people don't pay attention to but i noticed it as i was looking at the shoe in the light just making sure she captures that as good as possible um uh, what else guys very very light shoe super light it's probably the lightest um asics i've had in the past um compared to all the ones i had in the past and again I'm, i haven't really had many asics but it's very light i will say that super light super comfortable go true to size on these um on the back here we hit with a little piece of nylon here towards the heel which is very nice and then some more of that black suede around it i like that a6 is a big um, fan of using multiple materials and I can really appreciate that in this shoe. Um, other than that, what do you guys think, man? These are really, really clean. 
Um, most slept on ASICs thus far of 2018. It honestly, guys, if you guys remember my other review, it reminds me of the other A6 uh, that I recently did a review on. I know that's probably what you guys are thinking. I can't remember the name of it. That's a shame. I can't remember the name of the other ones because I've done so many reviews that I haven't uploaded yet. So I apologize for that. But yeah, there was a recent release that um, they were very similar in color to these and they kind of remind me of these. Another thing I wanted to mention before I close out this video since this was a collaboration between A6, Monkey Time, and you know pretty much uh, the Australian uh, highs and lows sneaker store, I don't see any of the brand in here though. <laughs> I kind of don't know what to think of that. It's the first time you know I noticed that there's not even like a brand of either or. It's just A6 all over the shoe. You wouldn't know this is a collab unless you know you were really into sneakers and saw you know hmm. You know, the checkerboard, the insole, this is kind of unique, this is different. But uh, yeah, I don't see any branding from highs and lows all around here. Um, no monkey time branding. I don't know, it's just interesting. Let's get a thumbnail though real quick. I want to get a thumbnail. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, comment, like, subscribe, share, and we will see you guys on the next one. Peace. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.